Welcome everyone to a new tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Turkish club Galatasaray. All of my opinion of course based on my own playstyle at the moment in FC25. I got a few requests to make a video about this team so uh, when you request someone, some team or whatever in the comments below my videos then I will uh, yeah count all the, the the requests and the club with the most requests i'm gonna make a video about as soon as i can so now it's for galatasaray and after that i'm going to do other teams so if you have a request for me make sure that you drop it in the comment sections uh, but before we begin i would really like to ask a favor drop a like in the video it will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow and if you're new to the channel want to find your way back really easy make sure that you are subscribed for notifications on and then we have a sponsor it's goal goal shop they sell amazing quality jerseys and shirts. I got a few of them myself, as you can see here. I'm really happy with them, else I would not recommend it, of course. And they are really cheap. So check out the uh, link in the description to the website. And if you want to order one for yourself or maybe more, then make sure that you also use the discount codes that are in the description because you get some extra off. That's always nice, of course. All right, let's go to uh, Galatasaray to the formation. It's the 4 one 3 two formation um the build-up style is balanced and the defensive approach would be around 45. uh then we're going to the uh, lineup muslera is the goalkeeper uh, elias gelert is the right defender i know he's not the highest rated right defender uh, that should be uh, this guy, Ihan, I think he's called. Sorry if I pronounced uh, the names not the right way. I'll try my best. Uh, but I choose Gillette because he is faster, way faster. 95 uh, of 59 pace for Ihan is way, way too slow. You are facing wingers that have uh, 80, 90 pace. So it's almost undoable to catch up with them. So Elias Gillette has uh, 85 pace which is pretty nice and uh, yeah his overall stats are not the best but pace is still really really important uh, Sanchez good center back so he's playing of course then this guy Bardakshi I think he's called uh, is the other one also he is not really fast but in game I never had the feeling that he was this slow I don't know what it is with this guy maybe I was just not in the situations that he needed to be fast maybe his uh positioning is just really really good uh i don't know but i didn't have the feeling that he was too slow so uh and El there is not really another alternative that is fast yeah nelson 63 that that makes two pace more it's not that much and i think his uh, defending stats overall are a bit worse than this guy uh, then we're going to the left side we have jacobs 84 pace really nice then we have torreira really good central defensive midfielder is playing there uh, Ziyech is playing on the right side of the midfield and that was a bit of a problem for me because when I play with a right midfielder or a right winger I really want this guy to be fast and uh, Ziyech is not fast he is 74 pace so sometimes I'm just trying to make a run down the wing and I think well that's not gonna work so I really needed to learn to play with this guy on the right side it took me a couple of matches but his dribbling is good, his, his shooting is pretty good, his passing is, is fantastic, skill moves 5 star, so that's really nice to have as well. Uh, but he's not the classic winger that I like to play like Yumas is, because he has 91 pace, that's what I really like on, uh, on the wing. But yeah, Galatasaray doesn't have that player for the right side, so I, uh, yeah, the only thing that you can do is just don't play with left right uh, midfielders then you choose uh, 4 one 2 one 2 small or something but that you can't play Yumas and Yumas is a really good player I really wanted to play him so yeah for me it was this formation and then uh, we're going to the central midfielder and that was probably the most important player I am not saying the best player but the most important player of this team with the box to box roll he was really fantastic. He was there when I was attacking. He was back in time when I needed to defend. He was overall on the field. And yeah, he did some amazing things, even scored goals. So I could not ask anymore. He's not really super high rated with 79, but he really surprised me. Good job from this guy, Sarah. And then we have two strikers, Oshiman, 88 rated, best player, highest rated player in the squad. What a fantastic striker for this team to have. I'm still surprised that he went to this club uh, at the end of the transfer uh, period. But yeah, we know the story. Uh, but I think yeah, Galatasaray 
can be really happy with this guy, especially also in this game. He is amazing and definitely playing, of course, next to Mertens. Mertens still a good player. He is pretty small, but his dribbling is really fantastic. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. And yeah, passing, dribbling, shooting is, is okay. He's not the fastest, but he doesn't have to because the role, we're going to the roles. His role, uh, I'm going to say is see that later, but let's uh, start with the keeper for the role, sweeper keeper. I'm always choosing the best one. Uh, it doesn't matter for me that much what we are playing, but hey, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, then we have Gellert. He is on a wing back. That is not his best. Uh, attacking wing back is his best. But in this formation with four defenders, that's way too attacking for me. So, uh, <coughs> sorry, just wing back, focused on balance is good. Then we go to uh, Sanchez. Uh, his best role is ball playing defender, but I don't like ball playing defender uh, in this formation. Uh, and overall, I, I don't like that role because, yeah, I don't know exactly what it is doing. I tried it out a few times. I, I advised it with, uh, with Van Dijk, but Van Dijk is special in this game in my Liverpool video. But I didn't use it for any other player, so I'm not going to do that for this guy as well. Uh, then we have uh, Bardacci, he is playing as a stopper, that is uh, next to a ball playing defender as well. His best role, but again, stopper is good. Then Jacobs, wing back, balanced, just like Gillard. Then we have Torreira, uh, I always play, like to play with uh, CDM on uh, holding and uh, defense, so he's more um, playing really, really defensive, like a slot on your defense. Uh, really important these cdms always in uh, my formation when you are defending uh, then we have ziek ziek is a uh, white playmaker with focused on attack uh, i tried a few things but this worked really much uh, the best for me because he's not really a winger i already said it and uh, this makes him go more inside to the box and then uh, you can do some finesse shots or whatever uh, he's left footed so uh, yeah this was working the best and i already said it sarah uh Box to box, uh, balance focus, you can't change that, but that's the only way to go with this guy in this formation. Uh, Gilmas inside forward with focused on balance, did a wonderful job there on the left side. Uh, falls number nine for Mertens, that is his best role. And uh, yeah, he's just dropping back a bit and he's, uh, you can pass the ball to him, dribble, uh, pass the ball back. Uh, yeah, he can do whatever you want with this guy almost, uh, but he, he's not the player that is going to make the runs and uh, you can give a through ball or something. Just falls number nine and yeah, he's doing a great job there. And then we have Poacher on Oshiman, two pluses for him. That's his best role. That's what he's best at. And yeah, you should definitely choose this for him because he's scoring many, many goals for me doing, uh, yeah. All the things that I tried out for Galatasaray. And then we're going to the assignments. Captain, choose whoever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, free kicks. Uh, Mertens and Ziyech. Ziyech from the right side because he's left-footed. Mertens for the left side because he's right-footed. If you like to uh, do some kind of, uh, how do you call it? These uh, Trivela. Uh, Trivela free kicks, I need to say, then you should uh, switch them, of course. But if you do the normal way, then I should go for this. Long free kick, doesn't matter for me because I always take them short, especially if you don't have a good free kick uh, player. With high shot power, 75 and, and 83 is not, is not enough for a long free kick, in my opinion. Uh, penalties uh, is for Oshiman. Uh, why not? He's the best striker. Let him take the penalties. Uh, left corner, Mertens. Right corner, Ziyech. Again, if you want to uh, curve them inside or just curve them outside of the box, then you can switch, of course, but these guys have the best crossing. So let them take the corners. Target player is Oshiman. Near post, Bardacci, and the back post is for Sanchez. All right, this is it for me. The best way to play with Galatasaray. Let me know in the comments if you tried it out, what you think of it, or what your results were. I'm really curious. This team gave me a lot of fun to play with. I got some re great results, and hopefully it will give that to you as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.